Scott, can you hear me okay? Great. John, can you hear me? Tom, can you hear me? I can't hear you, but that's a good thing. I'm going to keep you mute. I put you on permanent mute. Hi, Judy. Thanks, you guys, for joining in this morning. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to uh, take a minute or two uh, today, and I don't want to take long. I am going to record this so that uh, we can share it with the other, uh, well, actually, it'll be available to any of the officials and that so that they know. But I just wanted to go over a couple of things so that you guys were all set and see if there were any questions that you had or anything like that. Okay. And Scott's got, uh, no problem, Scott, you go ahead and just keep it uh, as you are. That's just fine over there with everything. Bruce, how are you feeling this morning? Better? Good, 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 good. Keep me informed on everything. Best, best wishes for you there. Well, it's 10, I'm gonna just get started. I know there's a couple of people who can't join us, but will watch the video because I don't wanna take up a lot of your time with it. As uh, uh, I mentioned to you, there's just three items that I have for you this morning. And uh, the first one, thanks for joining us, Bob. Appreciate you jumping in as well, helping out Bruce too. Uh, the first one is just with regard to any COVID protocols people are asking. And uh, please know that the WIA really only has one protocol and you don't have to worry about it at all. And that's that uh, the uh, symptoms checklist be in the possession of the teams. And that's up to the schools to do. It is required by them, but not for us to check on. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to do anything with warmups. Uh, we can go back to the old style of doing things. Uh, all those things are um, ready to roll. We'll be doing those at state. I am working out all of those warm-up issues uh, with everybody at Waukesha South. We already started meeting this week on those things. So uh, we'll have that all set there coming up. I probably, Scott, for you uh, and uh, anybody else, uh, let's see here, that's working down at Waukesha. Uh, I think you may have gotten a time schedule that isn't exactly accurate. So we will be updating that and getting that all taken care of. Um, look like I lost John and he's coming back. Good, good. All right. Um, second, let me just ask, any COVID questions that anybody has? Any COVID questions? If you want to unmute yourself, feel free to do so. It's up to the facility and or uh, the school that you are at, if there are any, but we have no mask mandates, no anything that way taking place. John, were you going to ask a question? Okay. All right. Then I'll go to the second thing that has come up quickly that is a no to is there is a group of coaches who are going to try to, and, and this has become a strategy by uh, the coaches, try to get officials and meet managers to uh, have a warm up cool down after every event. Um, the answer to that is no. That is why we have put in place the 20 minute break, the two 20 minute breaks that we have and then the end of the meet. And, and uh, all of that is in place so that uh, everyone can operate consistently. We had some meets that were running four and a half hours. We had some meets that were running two and a half hours. Obviously there are a lot of different elements that contribute to it, but a lot of it was the awards presentations and even the coaches admit, hey, a lot of times coaches aren't ready. Uh, they search for the coaches longer than they search for the student athletes uh, that they wish to do. And then sometimes they have a little bit of a parade and things like that. Uh, we just want those awards programs taking place during the breaks and then after the meet for the last four events. So the 200, the 100, the 100, and the 400 free relay, the 200 yard freestyle relay also, all of those awards should be presented after the meet. All right. The 200 yard medley relay, the 200 yard freestyle, the 200 yard individual medley, and the 50 yard freestyle should all be presented during that first um, break. 
And then the 100 yard butterfly, the 100 yard freestyle and the 500 yard freestyle get presented after the 500 yard freestyle during that break. I hope that makes sense for everyone. Any questions on that 100 yard, they wanna have a 100 yard cool down warm up. We just say no, make sure that meet managers know about that as well. Tom. Yes, Tom. Um, how, my only concern is if you've got, and I, I love the idea actually, you came up with that? <laughs> <laughs> my only concern is if you've got medley relay, 200 free IM and 50 free, the chances are pretty good that some of these girls are going to be up there twice. Are they going to get a chance to, you know, 20 minutes? I think 20 minutes is fine for a warm up and cool down, whatever. But some coach is going to go ballistic because his kid's in the water and only gets to warm up two lengths and then they're up for an award. How long are we going to wait for girls to get out of the water before we start that particular award? Well, I would keep it, they've got, you know, they basically have 20 minutes to get four awards in there, okay, because diving will not be part of it, so they've got five minutes for each of the award presentations. Uh, it seems to me that, uh, and particularly based upon the coaches asking for a 100-yard cool-down warm-up swim, they've got time to get that in and get out and be part of that presentation. Okay, so we just keep it moving, and, and if, yes. you know, so and so from in fourth place isn't there they're not yes. there we just go yes. with you okay okay yep what Which, i'm asking you guys to do is to just keep that meet keep them to 20 minutes help the help the administration with this it's what what has happened in the past is that the coaches have been able to kind of pull the wool over people's eyes because we haven't been able to really communicate these things uh forever and now uh, via this system and via this communication, at least I'm able to communicate with all of you to manage that meet the, and, and handle it so that it isn't overwhelming and should get done in a little under three hours is the goal. I'm, I'm thinking since it's only one award, you know, the only person who gets a medal is first place swimmer. So it should, should go fairly quick. They're not, they're not handling... Know. 32 medals out to relay teams so okay and, and, and you can encourage that you know that's just it uh they do want to do eight places and in wia we don't even do eight places at state so it's a it's a very interesting situation uh that where different folks are trying to get more amounts of time so yep they got it when that 20 minutes is up uh, if they haven't done all of their awards get the meat rolling okay Okay, that's we can, have them call, we can have them call you then, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, no, I, it's not a problem. Uh, the you know, we this the, what what people have to understand is this is not a USA swim meet and it is not an individual meet, it is an individual and a team meet combined. And we have to maintain some type of opportunity for a number of swimmers to participate in the relays and the individual events. And that is what is intended for education-based athletics. Uh, and I think that this is a good compromise for it all. And the coaches and parents have to understand this isn't about creating superstar swimmers by any means. It's a team competition and an individual competition. So there are decisions that coaches have to make and this is the timeline that we use. All right, then uh, the last thing is I would just like to go over that with you. I think that it's pretty understandable, uh, but know that the advisory council is the group that approved of this um, and uh, it is in place and they can, if coaches have complaints, it is with coach with uh, the uh, uh, WISCA, with the Swim Coaches Association. And then there will be a continuing discussion of this in December. Uh, it is most likely this will be the format we will use for boys since we used it for girls, but there, there can be conversation about what to do with this in the future. Uh, and uh, um, so just so that if anybody asks, that's the game for the long-term game plan. And uh, I've already gone over, it's the, the diving is held on Friday night. So all awards and everything there can be distributed at that time, as long as they have them. 
Uh, and then on Saturday, uh, the first four events are swum without any awards being presented after them. So that's the 200 yard medley relay, the 200 yard freestyle, the 200 yard individual medley and the 50 yard freestyle. And then a 20 minute break with 15 minutes in water being taken. That's when those awards get presented for those four events. Um, after that, yes, go ahead. I have a question. Um, I got the meet information for my sectional and they're talking about closing the pool after 15 minutes and then giving the awards. They're not gonna get awards no. done in five minutes. Nope, 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 correct. Tell them no, 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 nope. The awards get presented during that 20 minute break during in water. And they want to tell people that are working out in water, if they want, they need to just take a little break and listen while they're being presented. It's during that 20 minutes. Okay. It is not separate. Awards are not separate. Okay. So I want to make clear during that time. Okay. Yep. Thank you, John. Then uh, uh, in point number six that I have, it's the 100 yard butterfly. Uh, follows and then the 100 yard freestyle and the 500 yard freestyle and then another 20 minute break with those three awards being presented during that 20 minute break and 15 minutes in water. And then when we return after that, there are four events, the 200 yard freestyle relay, the 100 yard backstroke, the 100 yard breaststroke and the 400 yard freestyle relay with awards for those being presented afterwards and then the team awards can be presented. Any other questions that anybody has? Go ahead, Judy. I have a question about the diving break because I read that it's the board is supposed to be open for 10 minutes. At On sectionals. Friday? Yes. At sectionals? After, okay. after which one? No, this is for after round eight for the last. After round eight. For the last um, three dives, and we discussed this before, um, and I know at state will be sticking to whatever is the time limit that is listed. But my sectional has 21 divers in one board, and yeah. um, I don't think that it's it's reasonable to have just a 10 minute warm up after round eight. Okay, how long do you think you need? I have no idea. We it's, always that, we always let them do. Each diver gets to do their three dives. Three or dives. If, that's or the, ha that's the habit yeah. here too. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I would agree with the three dives. Yep. Let's stick with the three dives. Scott's saying that as well. And uh, we go with the three dives, let them do three dives. And then uh, that would conclude the uh, practice, the open uh, diving well session then. And then will that also be the procedure at state? Because in the boys' season, it was not, and that caused a lot of friction. And I would hope that that would be the same procedure that we would do. Each diver would get to do three dives after round eight. Well, I think that it will be enough time for them mm -hmm. to do that um, at state uh, because we are back to our normal time uh, limits with everything. We did cut, we we had to cut back because of their sports medical advisory asking us to cut back during the girls and boys uh, state swims last year. We are not under those protocols any longer. So we're back to normal for state. Okay. And that 10 minute may have been something that lingered from the uh, sectional right. information last year. So mm -hmm. yep, you're okay with those three dives. Okay. All right, any other questions that anybody has? Thanks for asking that one. Uh, I've got one here. If the facility has a separate cool down area, can it be used? The answer is yes. Yes, yes it can be. Okay, the sports medical or our advisory committee for swim and dive coaches determined that yes, they can be used. If you don't have one, it doesn't mean that they get extra time for warmups, just the 20 minutes at each of those breaks with 15 minutes in water. Anything else? Okay. 
if nothing else, feel free to email me or send me a question and uh, we will get this all down. I really appreciate all your time. I will post this so that uh, you can see it uh, once again, if you need to, but uh, appreciate everybody's help. And by golly, it's great seeing all of you great folks. <laughs> Fun being able to get together and uh, do this. So this will be this will be a little 15 minute video blurb that's available. Uh, if anybody has any questions, any other official you have. Okay, we'll post that up and let everybody know. Really Thanks good. very much. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. Take care. Thanks. Thanks.